I've made my choice, Addy. I'm calling her the Jackdaw. A sly bird I loved as a child back in Swansea. A dark little creature, no? Did it rub you wrong when I took this brig as mine own? <laughs> it was the sort of rub I have learned to enjoy, sailing among faces of such fairness. It's true. Most of these men wouldn't accept you as a captain. So what fair role would complement such unfairness? I'll be your quartermaster. Nothing less. All right. And as quartermaster, have you any immediate counsel for this Tyro captain? Rest and repast would do us good before Nassau. Water for drinking. Hunting for food and repairs. Well reasoned, sir. Hunting, it shall be. You'll find a decent place to drop anchor. I spied a few items in the hold earlier. Powder and a few pistols. I think I'll fashion a second holster if I can. <laughs> It's a good start. One you find laughable. Could we talk a moment about the condition of the ship? What's the trouble? I had a walk about the gun deck this morning and couldn't stand for what I saw. A clutter of linstocks heaped like tinder and one with a slow match still burning. Christ. And just nearby, two barrels of gunpowder, closer than man and wife, fit to explode at the touch of a spark. We'll stow ours good and proper. As for the cannons, they might as well be tossed. Clogs touch holes in need of scraping, corrosion on the bodies, barrel swabs as naked as knives, and breech ropes so rotten I could use them for knitting yarn. The short of it is, we need good equipment kept in fine condition. But we cannot win every battle with snares and shouts. So worry about your own armaments when it suits you. But don't forget about your jackdaw as well. No, indeed. We'll make it a point to keep this ship and its crew in fine condition. Forty fathoms or more below, boys. Boys, Forty fathoms or more. He's off the wind. Hold down. Hold down.
Boy, Captain, find what you need. My needs and wants are oceans apart, mate. But I did fashion myself a new holster. All I need now is a pistol to lie in it. Here. Yeah. Taken from the holes, just as you said. Little more than a blowpipe. But they'll do. So, are we rested? Or should we idle a while longer? Best way, Anchor. I think the crew is itching to reach civilization. You'll find no civilization in NASA. But it's a fine place to be merry all the same. Go on, Captain Queer Nubs. Tell me I'm under arrest. Tell me! Them your breads. Fly away, boyo. Back to your master. Aye. We was privateers together before the wars ended. I'll see you ashore. God, you're a sight for salty eyes. Come you in and have a drink. Morning, all. Oh, I can't wait. Who's this? Adewale, the Jackdaw's quartermaster. Jagdaw. <laughs> you named your brig after a poxy bird. Adi, these lads are the better part of our growing confederacy here. Ed Thatch, Ben Hornigold, James Kidd. You let him carry a pistol, do you? Peace, Ben. Adi saved my life. And now we're looking to find a crew to fill out the rest of my ship. Well, there's scores of capable men about. Use caution. A shipload of the King's sailors showed up a fortnight back, causing trouble and knocking about like they own the place. Right. I'll see who I can muster. Cheers, Addy. Come on, then. King, you're fair game, and come in with us. Then strike. Me? I'm no seafaring man. You're all balmy.
Pull me from the deep there, Captain. Jack, thanks, you hearty. Kenway, just in time. I see you back aboard. Shut for better or for worse if need be. You'll be swimming through your own innards. Thanks. Kenway, isn't it? I'm with you. Thank you. Heartily, Edward. Oh. 
Now you'll want to sail somewhere rich with plunder. Have you heard of a place called the Observatory? Aye, it's an old legend, like El Dorado or the Fountain of Youth. What have you heard? It's meant to be a temple or a tomb, hiding a treasure of some kind. That's it. See here. Oh, oh rot. It's fairy stories you prefer a gold, is it? It's worth more than gold, Thatch. Ten thousand times above what we could pull off any Spanish ship. Robbing the king to pay his porpoises is how we earn our keep here, lad. It ain't a fortune. It's a fantasy. Kenway. Not a bad looking tinder box you got there. You sound a bit green, horny gold. Is it envy? Because mine's bigger than yours. No, I reckon it's this Jamaican funk. I prefer the Spanish stuff. So, you've got yourself a fancy brig now. Fine. Well, I'm going to teach you how to say it all right. And how to take a prize the proper way. Thatch, we'll catch you up at the old fishing village. Aye. Where's your helmsman, Kenway? I take pride in piloting my own ships, Ben. Keeps me alert. Let's make some headway, shall we? I've no need for schooling. How many prizes did we take together as privateers? Is a prize worth taking? Good! Take us in close. After you subdue a prize, project authority. Demand respect that you would never give yourself. This weaves a spell for soft minds. For your victims must always have in the back of their minds the uneasy idea that you could snap at any moment and unseen them from prick to stone. It's no fun fishing cargo out of the sea. Although it can be done. She's disabled now and taking on a decent amount of water. So keep your cannons quiet. Take care not to sink her. Tengo un buen día, señor. I am Captain Hornigold, and this is my crew. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. For we intend to take all that you owe. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, señor. Tengo familia. Se lo suplico. Anyone speak English? English? Little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods, and we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbox. You got that? Please to repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lock them in the hold and take everything that isn't nailed down. We have looted the 
some goods useful and out to fail. It's a shaky feeling sailing about with this much stolen cargo. Get used to it. We'll need to take a few more prizes to make this a profitable day. No west old ship that ever did sail sailed on a rich on a windy day. And we're waiting for a day, wait for a day, wait for a day. Good take today, Kenway. Half a dozen scores of that size and you'll be set for a year. Now let's sell this cargo and fix up your jack door with a few more trinkets. Sod it, you. I'm looking for a price that'll set me up for life. Be king of the West Indies, then. We came to Nassau to get away from the likes of kings. Well, I'll be a man of property and promise anyway. Jesus, let that dream go, lad. Nassau is the place to be. Not it. Do you ever dream of the big score? A ship so full of gold and silver, just split it and sail home. Sure, but it's only a dream. Every man hopes to find a dozen chests of gold with no owners. They're as rare as an honest king. hacer hoy por usted. 